Since the beta release of Universal Control, I've seen so many people as excited as I was, but also lots of just legit confusion on what Universal Control actually is and how it might be different than Sidecar or even some of the other services that exist and sort of operate the same way, like Logitech Flow and even Synergy. So in this video, I'm gonna explain and try to break down what exactly Universal Control is and how it differs between those other things that I just mentioned. All right, so the main question here is what in the world is universal control? And to try and make things as simple as possible, it's a feature that's still in beta, but hopefully should be coming very, very soon and allows users to control multiple Macs or iPads with one singular keyboard and mouse. With universal control, you can use the same cursor and keyboard on any nearby Mac or iPad that's signed into your iCloud account. So that's where the security aspect sort of comes in. You have to be signed into your specific iCloud account and it will work with multiple Macs and iPads positioned within 30 feet of each other. So if you're still wondering how is this different than Sidecar? Well, Sidecar is a feature that lets you extend your Mac's display to an iPad, basically making your iPad an external monitor for your Mac. You're no longer running iPad OS on your iPad. It's now uh, an extension of your Mac or your MacBook on your iPad. Universal control, again, lets you take your mouse and it'll drag it over to the device that's next to your Mac, like an iPad, and then all of a sudden you're now controlling your iPad with that Mac's keyboard and mouse. It's not extending the display, you're not seeing Mac OS on your iPad, it's still iPad OS, it's a separate device being controlled from your Mac. So imagine you went out and wanted to buy a Bluetooth keyboard and mouse so that you can control your iPad. Well, instead of having to go out and buy something, you can just use the keyboard and mouse from your Mac. The beauty with this is that let's say you have an iMac, a MacBook, and an iPad, like I said before, all in a row. I demonstrate this here on this TikTok, by the way, if you haven't already, go follow us on TikTok. Then you can actually drag your mouse across all three devices. So again, one keyboard and mouse used for three different machines. Now, we are aware that there are other products or services very similar to this, but there are a few things to point out here. The first benefit of universal control is that you don't actually have to go out of your way to install and learn a third party program. There's no setup or anything needed. You just download the beta or when it's officially available for the public, then you just update to the next version of Mac OS and iPad OS that supports this feature and you'll have it ready to go. So apps like Synergy, which I have not personally used, but a lot of people have been talking about in the comments section, it apparently will work the same way across Mac OS and even Windows and Linux. That's great for those who have this use case, but Apple didn't develop this feature for you to necessarily go out and use it on other platforms. They wanted you to use this if you're already heavily invested into the ecosystem and so that you can control another Mac or another iPad. The other big difference is I believe a lot of these programs like Synergy do not work with tablets like an iPad. So you may be able to jump between Mac OS, Windows, or even Linux, but a tablet is not something that you can use here. Now I have used Logitech Flow, and that's another example of something similar, but this time it requires you to actually go out and buy a Logitech keyboard and mouse that supports Logitech Flow. Then you gotta install the software on all of the devices that you wanna use this with, and you have to go through all the setup, and it just doesn't work with an iPad either. So I'm not entirely sure why anyone would wanna go that route and spend extra money on extra hardware when you already have a keyboard and mouse available with your Mac. And this is all built into the operating operating systems of your Mac devices or your iPads or whatever. Those are the biggest differences between Universal Control and Sidecar as well as some of these other third-party apps that are similar to this new Universal Control feature. Uh, to sum it up, if you want to use your iPad as an external monitor for your Mac, then you want to use Sidecar. If you want to use your iPad for iPad things but don't feel like having to have two different keyboards and mice just around on your desk, you can use your Mac's keyboard and mouse to control your iPad or another Mac if you want to with no additional software or hardware required. And if you made it this far, I hope this explanation helps you and that everyone has a better understanding of this feature and how it differs from other similar features. Of course, I'd love to know your thoughts in the comments down below. And if there are any other questions that maybe I didn't cover in this video, if you watched the whole thing and you still have more questions, please let us know in the comments down below. 